Okay, a real quick review of multiplying and dividing sign numbers, or I'm, I'm stating real numbers. Um, so let's first talk about multiplying two numbers that have like signs. And you may remember from your experience in the past that a negative number times a negative number is a positive number. Or I often in my classes will say a negative times a negative is a positive. Here's why. I really like to show you why often. So here's the pattern, which is what math is all about, that developed when uh, mathematicians first studied this idea. We knew that 3 times 2 was 6, and we knew that 3 times 1 was 3, and we knew that 3 times uh, 0 is what I want to write here. So again, 3 times 0 was 0. And would you notice how the results are going down by 3? Down by 3, getting smaller by 3. So the next answer would go down by 3, down to a negative 3. When this digit right here, when this integer is going down by 1, you're taking the factor of 3, multiplying by 2, then by 1, then by 0. And so when we multiply 3 by the number that's 1 less than 0, negative 1, we get a negative 3. So we discovered that a positive times a negative is a negative. So let's go ahead and throw that up here. So let's go, you know, with a uh, positive 5 times a negative 6 is a negative 30. What mathematicians did with this is that they did the same idea and they said if you took, let's just take a negative number times a positive number, and we already know now that that's equal to negative, so that's a negative 6, and let's keep the negative 3, but let's reduce the 2 by 1, so we know that's a negative answer, and 1 times 3 is 3. Let's reduce that 1 to 0, and we know that answer is 0. And would you notice this negative 6? The next answer increased to a negative 3, and the next one increased to 0, and the next one would be increased up to 3 when you took a negative 3 times a negative 1. Therefore, the negative times a negative is a positive. Bottom line, um, you just need to memorize this. If you have two numbers with like signs and you multiply them together, you get a positive, excuse that spelling right there, positive answer. Um, the one thing I want to compare that to that some people tend to get it mixed up with is addition. A negative 2 and a negative 3 do not give you a positive. That's what a lot of people think when you're adding. Only when you're multiplying is a negative times a negative a positive. When you add two numbers with like signs, you add their absolute values and you give your answer that common sign. So again, two numbers, this one should have been down here actually, multiply two numbers with unlike signs. So uh, 2 times a negative 7 would give you a negative 14. Finally, division is the same as multiplication. So if you had tw uh, a negative 12 divided by a positive 3, your answer would be a negative 4 because you only have one negative sign. These have unlike signs. One's negative, one's positive, so you get a negative answer. But the reason for that is that if you took a negative 12 divided by 3, it's the same thing as multiplying a negative 12 times 1 third. So the rules for division apply in the same way as multiplication because any division problem, any division problem can be written as a multiplication problem. Okay, I'd like to put this all together. So let's just do a few problems here. Get my other mouse and we'll get this screen out of the way. I apologize. All right, so putting it all together. Here, number one, um, and I'd suggest you do this handout real quickly if you can. Um, unlike signs, and I'm doing division, 20 divided by 4 is 5, and I'll uh, apply a negative sign because it's just a negative divided by a positive. A negative divided by a negative, however, is a positive. A negative times a positive is a negative. And let's see, now we, we're back to some addition and subtraction, so be careful. I'm adding two numbers, 
like three dollars of debt and seven dollars of debt their absolute value is ten and they share a common sign that's negative the next one reads subtraction it's a negative seven subtract 12 so I have to add a negative 12 now the 7 and the 12 have the same sign so I add their absolute values and put that common sign on them the next problem is subtraction a negative 13 subtract a negative 2 means I have to add a positive 2 those two numbers don't have the same signs and I'm adding them so their differences are 11 but the 13 has more pull so I have to put that negative sign on number 7 is back to multiplication and negative times a negative is a positive let's go back over here and catch a few more so and plus we have a little bit of order of operations here um, number 8 though is just a negative 15 and adding a positive 5 so the difference in their absolute values is 10 and the 15 has more pull so I have to put that sign on in number nine I need to do what's in the numerator first it's like this division bar is like saying get this calculated first um, so the absolute value is 40 I put the common sign on and now I want to divide that by five and a negative divided by a positive is a negative let's see in number 10 I'm just gonna go ahead and use the answer blank as my fraction bar in number 10 I've uh, negative 7 and I want to add 20 they have different signs this one's negative the 20 is positive so 13 and since the 20 has more pull it's a positive 13 divided by a negative 13 and a positive divided by a negative is a negative and 13 divided by 13 is 1 it's much easier if you just do this one and turn these into integers so 15 goes into 75 five times but that will be negative because this is a positive divided by a negative 28 divided by 4 is 7 and a negative divided by a negative is a positive 7 so I'm adding if you want you can put a little plus sign here just to remind yourself this negative divided by a negative was a positive now I'm adding two numbers that have different kinds of signs their difference in absolute value is 2 the 7 is bigger than a 5 so my answer is positive let's see 60 divided by 4 I think that's 15 a negative 44 divided by 4 is a negative 11 and I want to take 15 and add a negative 11 their difference is 4 and the 15 has more pull so it's a positive 4 remember 15 plus a negative 11 is the same thing as 15 minus 11 that's from you know all of our lives okay in this problem you can think do this first a negative 2 times a negative 3 is a negative 6 and then multiply by a negative 16 and then you can divide by 8 now it might be easier right now while I'm here first this negative times a negative is going to be a positive so I'll have a positive divided by a positive so my final answer is positive it would be easier in this problem if I would say 8 goes into here once and into here twice and all I'm left with is the negative 6 times a negative 2 is a positive 12 so again I had to do it was upstairs first though same with number 14 I've got to multiply first before I add because order of operations says to multiply before you add so a negative times a positive is a negative 14 a negative times a negative is a positive I'm gonna go ahead and add those up so a negative 14 plus 5 is a negative 9 and a negative 9 divided by a positive 3 is a negative 3 okay good review um, we'll move on to some more work with order of operations next